morning to all my students of class 11 arts. Today I am here going to teach you political science. Well, political science is a new subject for you all, isn't it? So before proceeding with the chapter, so let us have a knowledge about what political science is. Okay? So political science is a branch of social science where there is a systematized study of the state. So why is it called a social science? So it is called a social science because it is the study of the human nature as well as the society. So in political science, you all have to remember that the study is concentrated on the study of state and government. That means state is an institution which is made by a large amount of individuals and when you become a member of a state now how are you supposed to behave while you are a member of a state and besides that you also have to study about the government so what is the government what is the role of the government isn't it so in order to maintain certain amount of rules and regulations or in uh, order to maintain the discipline of the state. So you have to have a body, isn't it? So that is known as the government. And not only that, you all have to study about the individuals who all are going to exercise power. So how are they going to get hold of power? So it is the study of sharing of power, the allocation of power. And not only that, you are also going to study about the other states of the world. So that will come under international relation okay so what sort of relation does a particular country have with the other nation okay and not only that a comparative study of all the states is also done in political science okay so more or less now you have an idea about what actually political science is okay and you also have to remember that the credit of the study of political science goes back to the Greeks okay that means the root of political science is in Greece. That means uh, there were two political philosophers by the name of Plato and Aristotle who came up with the idea of the study of state. So Aristotle was the first individual who came up with the theory of state. So this was how now the slow, uh, slowly the study of state began to take place okay so that's why we term it as political science and you all have to remember that political science is an old discipline as well as a new discipline that means you have to go back to the roots of political science that means from the time of Aristotle that means from the third and the fourth century till the present century the study of state is still being made okay so in the past maybe in the third and the fourth century and the other centuries that was followed maybe the study of state was confined just to the state and government what is the state what is the government okay but later on with the coming of the behaviorists so we will be doing it okay but this is just an idea for you all but with the coming of the behaviorists now the study of political science also began to change so that will also come under your study of political science okay so this is just the background about what actually political science is so in your lower classes so especially in your uh, class 7 8 9 10 isn't it you have studied civics so more or less you have an idea about what is the government how is the government supposed to function so what are the other political institutions which are associated with the state okay but here in political science you are going to study it in detail now we move on with the traditional or the classical political scientists, the political science or political theory. Okay? So, as I said now, political science is an old discipline as well as a new discipline. So, what was the view of the state? What was the view of the government 
In the earlier years, that means in the third and the fourth century, when the study of state had just come into existence. Okay, that means Aristotle, who is the father of political science, so he was the first person to come up with the theory of state. So, what do we mean by a theory? Okay, so theory means a system of ideas explaining something specially based on general principles. So we will have a look at the traditional or the classical political science or it is also known as political theory. Now, we first have to go back to the 3rd and the 4th century in Greece. Okay. Now, at that time, okay, it was known as political science. So, political science was considered to be the science of state and government. Okay? That means in political science, the study was confined just to the state and government. So, that's why it is known as science of state and government. But what was studied? So, why was it called the science of state and government? So, what were the subjects which was included within the study of state and government. So, the study of state was there. Okay. So, the state government, we all have to do it in detail. But here, now since we have just started with the chapter, so you just remember that in the earlier centuries, in the 3rd and the 4th centuries, when political science was defined as the science of state and government, the study of state was there, the study of government was there, okay? And whatever amount of political institutions were functioning at that time, so they were all termed as political science, okay? Now, Aristotle, okay, he is also considered to be the father of political science. So he was the first person to come up with the theory of state. That means what is the state, isn't it? So what is the government? What is the purpose of the state? What is the purpose of the government? So he was the first individual to come up with the theory of state. But at that time, you have to remember, okay, the term which Aristotle used, okay, was polis. So remember that Aristotle in the 3rd and the 4th century, now when he was giving us an idea about the state, he did not uh, give it the name state, but at that time it was known as polis. So polis was a small city state, that is a small city state. So whatever activities were taking place at that time in the small city state, okay, so that was known as Polis. So please do not get confused. So in the 3rd and the 4th century when Aristotle came up with the theory of state, he did not call it state but it was termed as polis. Okay? And then he thought it uh, easy or he thought it necessary that why not make use of the term politics. Okay? So he made use of the term politics in order to study about the 158 Greek city-states which were present at that particular time because maybe at that time the number of states were also less because obviously the number of individuals were also less at that time. Isn't it? So the population of the states were also small. So at that time there were just 158 Greek city-states. So when he was studying about these Greek city-states, so he made use of the term politics. Okay? And later on, there were other political scientists who made, uh, made, who made use of the term such as political philosophy, political theory. So there was a reason as to why these individuals made use of the term political theory or political philosophy. Because there was a question now, what is the state? What is the purpose of the state? Isn't it? And besides that now, what should be the relation of an individual with the state? 
So how is that individual going to react to the rules and regulations made by the states? So there were many questions which were there at that particular time. Okay? So uh, the political scientists also made use of the term uh, political philosophy and political theory. So later on, political science was thus considered as a social science because it was the study of the organization and activities of the state. So, what is the purpose of the state, isn't it? So, what should the state do? What are the different activities which are there in a state? So, this is more or less about the traditional meaning of the term political science. So, most of the political scientists at the time also when they were explaining, when they were uh, giving us an idea about the definition of the state, so more or less it was concentrated around the state. Okay? So they went on to say political science deals with the state and government, political science begins and ends with the state, okay? And political science is that part of is that part of social science which treats of the foundation of the state and principles of the government. So, most of the okay, study of the state was concentrated around the state and government only. So, that is with regard to the traditional political scientists. Okay? Now, uh, now you have to remember that the traditional political scientists, okay, so they made a difference between politics and political science. So to them, that is to the traditionalist, so politics was different from political science. So what is politics? Politics is the activities of the state, the different problems and issues which are faced by the state and how are they going to handle these issues? Okay, so that means all the activities which were taking place in a state was included within the study of politics. Now, on the other hand, what is political science? That is, the, this is with regard to the traditionalists or the classical political theories. Okay, so political science was anything to do with the science of state and government. That means the theory part, what is the state, what is the role of the state, isn't it? Uh, what, uh, what is uh, the uh, motive of the state, what is the idea behind the state. So it was the traditionalists who made a difference between politics and political science. So politics was supposed to be the activity part. Okay, so all the activities which were taking place was included under the under politics, the different problems and issues which the government is facing and how the government is going to tackle each of these problems. And then on the other hand, political science is concerned with the study of state and government. Okay, that means uh, you just study about what is the state, what is the government and the other. Okay, now now, the political scientists, okay, so the traditional view, the uh, traditional uh, or the traditionalists or the classical political scientists, so they made a difference between politics and political science, okay. Now, politics can be considered as the activities which is taking place in the state and political science is what to do with the theory. So, what is the purpose of the state? What is the theory of the state? So remember that the uh, classical political scientists, okay, or the traditional political scientists made a difference between politics and political science. Now, now there was a professor by the name of Kolok, okay, that means uh, he was an American professor. So he also made a difference between politics and political science. So he has divided it into two parts. 
theoretical politics and applied politics. Okay. So theoretical politics means your political science. So what is included under theoretical politics? Or what is studied under theoretical politics? Okay. So here you study about the theory of state. So what is the purpose of the state? Why should there be a state? Or why is there a necessity of a state? Okay. And then sovereignty. So sovereignty means supreme power. So how is the state going to exercise the supreme power? So how is the state going to make use of the supreme power? And theory of government, theory of legislation, okay, and the others. So theory of government also, now why is there a need for a government? So why should there be a government in a state? And theory of legislation. So once you have a state, you have the government, now why, do, why does the government have to make the rules and regulations? Okay? So that was included in the study of theoretical politics or political science. Okay? And then we went on to mention applied politics or you can call it politics. So what comes under your study of applied politics? Now under it you have the existing forms of government. So each of the states have their own government, isn't it? So uh, what type of rules and regulations are they making, isn't it? Whether they are making strict rules and regulations or not. And then state as it exists. Now what are the different activities which the state is undertaking, isn't it? So what is the different function, which is the different role of the state, okay? So that will come under the applied politics, okay? And besides that, the government, the constitutional law, okay, then your parliamentary system. So all of the activities which are taking place in a state will come under your study of applied politics, okay. So this was the description given by Polo, okay, who was an American professor. And besides that now, he just wanted to bring a distinction or he wanted to show that there is a difference between political science and politics. Okay? So uh, he came up with this particular idea. So what do you have in, uh, what is the difference between applied politics and theoretical politics? Okay? So theory of politics is your political science and the practice of politics is politics. Okay? So this is the differences which Pulau gave us between politics and political science. Okay? Now, we move on to the traditional differences between political science and politics. Okay? So, remember that it was the traditionalists who brought a difference or who said that there is a distinction between politics and political science. Okay? Now, what is politics? So politics is the day-to-day -day activities of the government and how there are different problems and issues which are faced by the government and how the government is going to tackle these problems. Whereas on the other hand, political science is the science of state and government. You study about the state, you study about the government. That means theory, isn't it? That means uh, difference is being brought between theory and practice. And on the other hand, politics is a practical activity. That means uh, maybe the people from the different political parties are there, isn't it? Or the ones who are running the government, they all are involved in some sort of activity, isn't it? So they want to get hold of power, they want to make use of power, they want to make the rules and regulations. So it is um, uh, mostly a practical activity. Whereas on the other hand, political science is an academic or it is concerned or it is associated with academics. So just as you all are in class 11, you all are studying political science, isn't it? So firstly you came to know about what is political science and then we are dealing with the classical 
or the traditional meaning of political science and in the days to come we will be doing the modern or the contemporary uh, meaning of political science and slowly we will move on with the other scope of political science. So what are the areas that will come under political science, isn't it? So political science was mainly an academic or it was mainly concerned with academics, okay? Now, politics differ from place to place. That means now a particular country. So let's take the example of India, isn't it? So in India, we have a parliamentary form of government. Parliamentary means now the head of state is the president, but the head of the government is the prime minister. That means we have two executive heads, isn't it? And then when we have a look at USA, in USA, the head of state is the president. That means politics differs, isn't it? That means in India, uh, we have the prime minister and we have the president, but in USA, only the uh, presence of the president is there. So politics differs from place to place, okay? But the principle of political science is universal. So whatever meaning of political science you are learning right now, isn't it? So uh, the students from other parts of the world, let's say uh, Britain, isn't it? So they are also going to study the same. So they are also going to say that political science is the study of state and government. And uh, you are also going to study that political science is the science of state and government. That means the principles of political science is the same, but politics varies from one region to the other. Okay. Now, your uh, we are involved in politics in one way or the other. That means uh, when we become a member of a state, so we uh, follow the rules and regulations, isn't it? So we have to obey the rules and regulations which is made by the state. But political science is uh, confined to the students of political science only. So only the students who all are taking a political science, so they will study political science. So they will have a knowledge about political science, isn't it? So in the same way now you all have uh, joined the art section, but the but your friends who all are joining the science section, they do not have to study political science, isn't it? They have other subjects to study. But you all are the students of political science. Now it is very necessary that you have to study political science. Okay? That means political science is usually studied by the students of political science. And now with regards to politics. So politicians are very much involved in politics. That means they are taking an active part, isn't it, in the affairs of the state. So usually when you are watching the news or reading the newspaper, you see the politician, isn't it? So how, are, how they convince the people? How are they participating, isn't it, in the politics of the country, isn't it? That means uh, maybe they are giving speeches or maybe they are calling some programs, isn't it? Organizing some programs whereby uh, they want to win the hearts of the people. So they are involved in politics, okay? So politicians are involved in politics. Whereas on the other hand, the student of political science, they are only going to study political science. That means they have a knowledge about political science. So now since you all are <coughs> studying political science, now you have a knowledge about what political science is, isn't it? And then slowly in the days to come, your knowledge regarding political science is going to increase, isn't it? You are going to know more about the state, you are going to uh, study more about the functions of the state, the purpose of the state, uh, the uh, role of the human beings with regard to the state, isn't it? And then it is up to the student to decide whether he or she wants to join politics or not. Though the student may have a wide knowledge regarding political science, but it is up to him or her to decide whether he wants to join politics or not. Okay? But on the other hand, with regard to the politicians, even though they do not have much knowledge about political science, but they take an active part in the affairs of the state, okay, by being an active participant, okay. So, these are the differences between politics and political science, okay. So, please remember that the traditional political scientist 
they went on to say that political science is the study of state and government it is confined around the state and government but again it was the traditional political scientists who went on to say or who gave us an idea that there is a vast difference between state and government okay uh, between political science and politics so political science is the theory part it is supposed to do with the study or the science of state and government and on the other hand with regard to politics so politics was the day to day activities of the government the different issues and problems which were being faced by the government and how they were trying to tackle these problems okay so with this we come to the end of the explanation of the traditional political scientists okay so you go through the video so you have a look at the video and try to understand the traditional meaning of the term political science so in the next class we shall continue with the modern meaning of the term political science because it is very necessary as i told you in the beginning also is it so political science is an old discipline and a new discipline so you have to have a knowledge about the classical meaning of the term political science and the modern meaning of the term political science okay so with this we come to the end of the explanation thank you very much have a nice day stay stay home stay safe but at the same time don't forget to study thank you